The Humble Tile Ever is an instantly recognisable tool that has remained largely unchanged since its inception. So when a company like True Tension releases a new take on such an established design, you have to wonder, are they just reinventing the wheel or do they have a legitimate game changer on their hands? So in this video, we'll take a look at the True Tension Tire Monkey and find out. Alright guys, so before we get into the video, just a little bit of housekeeping. So right now we're continuously uploading bikepacking and bike touring related videos such as gear reviews, tips and tricks, and the main feature of the channel, a 93 part series documenting our time bike touring around Australia. So if that's your kind of thing, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. So I just got back from Crankwork Cairns, and while I was checking out all the vendors, I came across the True Tension stall. And in amongst their various cleaning products and lubes, I found this little guy. So I know a tire lever is a little bit mundane and it's not a very sexy product, but touring tires can be so stiff and so tough to get off of the rim that it did kind of intrigue me. There have been times where I have literally had to wrestle a tire off the rim and I do worry that if Bonnie's out there riding alone and she gets a flat, she could struggle with it. So enough chatter, let's take a look. Alrighty, so instantly I've noticed something kind of cool and quirky about the packaging here, and that is that we have this little rubber band holding the tile lever in place. And I think it's actually a section of inner tube, which is pretty cool. That's a hack that I use pretty often. Anyway, uh, tire monkey. A tire lever, but better. I guess we'll find out about that. Turn it over, we see that they're actually a UK company. I didn't realize that. I think they actually got their start in the motorbike world and then moved over to bicycles. We've got some instructions down the side here and you can see one side is from removing the tire and the other side is for fitting the tire. We'll get into that shortly. And on the front, we actually have a QR code here, which if you scan, it'll take you straight to the product page on their website, which also has an instructional video, which I'll link in the description below. All right, so I guess um, the way this works is that this side, this big hook, is the lever part of the tire lever. That's what you're gonna use to pull the bead off of the rim. Whereas this other side, this sort of channel here, is for seating the, the bead back onto the rim. So we'll have a demonstration in a minute where we'll show how that works. A couple of bonus features here. This little hole here is actually for removing valve cores, which is a pretty good thing to put on a tire lever, to be honest. And uh, this, little round bit here is actually for letting air out of Schrader valves. Now that's not something I would use, but I'm sure someone out there would find it handy. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how this works. Alrighty, so right here we have my touring wheel set. We've got some Schwalbe Marathon Plus Tours. These are pretty stiff tires. And even though these ones are getting pretty old, they still take a bit of effort to get on, on and off the rim. The rims are Andra 321 rims, pretty popular in the touring world. I had this wheel set built up a while ago. Um, perfect match for these tires. Um, yeah, I don't know how much difference any of that stuff makes, but uh, let's have a go. So I was just about to let all the air out of this tube just by tapping on the, the valve core here. But why don't we just test out this valve core remover? Yep, yeah, well, that works. So according to True Tension, what's gonna happen here is we are gonna hook under the bead with this, and then this little ridge here will sit on the edge of the rim, and we will slide around the rim like this and hopefully take the tire off. So let's give it a go. So we'll be starting this on the side of the rim opposite from the valve as that's what True Tension suggests in their video. All right, we're in. Oh my God. Oh, well, we lost it off the rim there, but that made pretty quick work of that. So that worked exactly how they said it would work. Um, can't really fault the product at this point. 
So let's see if we can use this to put it back onto the rim um, using this little channel here. So what they say in their video is to hook it onto the rim like this and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go around and we're going to push the bead back on. So let's see how this goes. Like this. Hey, look at that. All right, let's do this one more time off and on. Get the lever opposite the valve, hook it under the bead. There we go. And the tire is off the rim. And when we want to go back on again, hook this in here. I have to say that this isn't working quite so well, the, the putting the tire back on the bead. Maybe I've got the technique wrong here or something, but it just, yeah, it doesn't seem as smooth. Although, having said that, there we go, done. Okay, so first impressions. This thing really works. Like, I'm actually pretty impressed. This was, I would say that this is potentially easier than a regular tire lever. I would have to try it on more tires. I'd have to try it on my mountain bike, which runs tubeless. Um, I would have to try it on a few other, like I would have to try it maybe on a new tire when it's like still really tough. But so far it looks pretty damn good. Now I did struggle with this sort of channel for putting the tire back on, on the rim. Um, but I think maybe that was user error. I don't think I was quite getting the right angle of attack on it because I was trying to show you guys and I was kind of angling it to the camera. I reckon if you persevered with that, it, it would work pretty well. In terms of durability, this thing's sturdy, no chance of it breaking. I, I think this could potentially last you a lifetime. Now, I am concerned a little bit about this ridge here that rides around the rim as you're taking the tire off. Um, it's kind of thin and I am worried about it potentially getting damaged or wearing down, maybe breaking, but I mean, only time would tell. There's no way of really predicting that. I don't think I would take it as my only tire lever on a long-term tour right now. I, I don't think I'm quite ready to rely on it, but it's looking hopeful. Um, I'm gonna try all this a while longer and this might just go on tour with me in future. So in terms of price, um, I think these are 10 pounds on the manufacturer's website. So, you know, maybe like 13 US dollars, 16 Australian dollars. And I think, you know, 10 quid, $15, I think that's a good price to pay for something that's as effective as this. All right, so I know that was a pretty long video for the sake of a tire lever of all things, but hopefully some conclusions were made. What do you guys think? Is this a potential game changer or are we just reinventing the wheel here? Tell me what you think in the comments and don't forget to give this video a little like while you're there. Cheers.